Hi, I'm Tim O'Neill and this is Travis Hansen. We're up here in Dalton, New Hampshire and at the test facility at Tim O'Neill Rally School. And we're going to try to do a little test here. Um, we have the old school Subaru, uh, an old WRC car as our control. It is very standard, easy to drive, well developed, uh, very consistent vehicle that we think is going to be a, a good test to go up against. So our objective is to get the Ford Focus RS to be a reliable and easy to drive rally car and we're going to see in so the next uh, who knows how long a year or so to see how long it's going to take us and what we're going to have to do to make this car as predictable and reliable as this one. Right here we have an old school sort of an old school rally car and, and very simple and this is a very complicated modern car. Alright so we've set up a course uh, to test the two vehicles. We're going to take uh, the Focus out for a couple laps, the Subaru out for a couple laps, and we're basically going to race them side by side and see what happens. Alright, so in the Focus RS, uh, you have to have your clutch in, you got to hold the start button. It fires right up pretty easily, uh, but then you got to find your right drive mode for this beast, right? So you start pushing the buttons here and it gets a little bit mad about the low tire pressure. There we go, drive mode, sport, uh, track, we'll try the drift mode, chem block mode. Uh, and then you gotta hold the traction control button down uh, for a while until it gets happy about that. And now I think we're ready. Okay, the startup procedure for a modern rally car is a little more complicated than that of a road car. After you turn off the main power, turn on the main power, you have to put on the ignition in each fuel pump and then the auxiliaries and then it start. And it might not start and you have to release one fuel pump and that doesn't work so you got to release both fuel pumps and then it starts and then you put the fuel pumps in. Not that bad once you know how to start when it's... I joke with people and say it's sort of like stealing a helicopter and everybody goes right. I can hear myself think, you know, the thing's actually pretty quiet. Uh, pretty easy to deal with driving wise. And as long as I drive smooth, then I can kind of keep up with him. tires on icy roads so it's a bit of a challenge. It's a pretty fast car. I bet you this thing makes as much power as the old rally car there because mostly it's unrestricted you know. The rally car actually has a restrictor in it. This thing's free to go. <laughs> I was spinning the tires too much. I'm having too much fun. Uh, I felt like right off the start line that thing kind of took off like a batter to hell and up the hill he was going a lot quicker than I was but once we got up into the kind of the slalom and the technical turns it might have got a little you know dicey as far as the trashing goes and uh, we were pretty much able to keep up so it was good. Alright, here we go, off in the lead car. See if we can stay away from Tim. He's probably gonna try to bump me or something silly like that. I'm gonna look for some grip on the inside. 
behind you. They seem to work pretty good. Right here, you can kind of turn the radio on. Cars have come a long way in the last 20 years since this thing was built, and there's been a lot of people say, wow, the Focus RS isn't really an all-wheel drive car. But just this simple first test, it's like, wow, well, really? Because this is a very expensive car, and that thing is, is staying right with it. And I'm you can very, buy that right from the dealer. Right. I'm very impressed. All right, I'm going to count you down. Three, two, one, go! Well, actually, I was very surprised. I mean, one of the reasons I wanted Travis here is because he's a really good driver. I trust him, and I know that he's kind of hard to beat. And so I wanted to make sure we had the same sort of skill level behind the wheel. We have the same exact tires. Um, everything's the same. Uh, and, and so this test, is it's really surprising to see that the car right out of the box, the RS Focus, is really impressive. I mean, on the drag race, and, and that little test showed they were equal. Now, I know we have a lot more testing to do. Uh, we really, the final test is going to be how well will it do on a 20 mile stage over crests and in corners and such, but I'm very impressed. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, the, the new Focus is a wonderful car. It's kind of amazing uh, what it is out of the box, like Tim says. Uh, you have a car here that's probably a lot more stable at higher speeds. Uh, so we kind of had a test that was a little bit lower speeds today. The, the power and the torque of the Focus is gonna show through. But I think maybe once we open it up a little bit faster, uh, it'll be harder to keep up with the Subaru. But for today, I think we've got a pretty fair matching. <laughs>